<laughs> they have potions for the fine arts, such as painting, sculpture, music, and bowling. <laughs> they must be frequently repeated in order to remain effective. <laughs> Caution. Always use the same formula. If not, therein lies disaster. <laughs> Hi, Grandpa. What's cooking? <laughs> to show some respect for tonight's guest of honor, why don't you go upstairs and change your socks? I already did. Good. Then go upstairs and rehearse your groveling. Hi, Igor. Hi, Igor. Grandpa, Igor snubbed me. He can't hear you. He's wearing earmuffs. <laughs> Why? Search me. Who am I to tell a bat how to dress? <laughs> now, let me see now if I can remember this. Now, was it Beethoven's sauerkraut and Bernstein's photograph? Or was it uh, Bernstein's sauerkraut and Beethoven's photograph? And the first man said, the dog can't talk. The mouse is a ventriloquist. <laughs> That'll do, Munster. <laughs> Don't overdo it. Uh, Mr. Gateman, I think we can conservatively say, sir, that you have the best sense of humor in the United States. <laughs> uh, Mr. Gateman, would you care for some more pie? Mrs. M, being that I'm in a gay party mood, I would love some. <laughs> Isn't Mrs. M a good cook? Indeed she is. Fit for a king to coin a phrase. <laughs> and Mr. G is a good eater. <laughs> or as we say down at the parlor, he's one guy who really knows how to put it away. <laughs> my sense of humor does not include <laughs> jokes at my expense. <laughs> oh, uh, sir, uh, shall I cut it for you, sir? No, and stop begging just because you carved my iguana. Uh, Count Dracula. She was something from some garden, chicken soup from Liberace. Grandpa, our guest is speaking to you. Uh, yes, young man? You've been as quiet as a customer all evening. Shot. Where's little Edward? Eddie's in the living room getting ready to play for us. <laughs> then we mustn't keep him in suspense. Let's go inside and start the concert. <laughs> Say, hey, look at those interesting patterns the candlelight makes on the ceiling there. <laughs> Enough, uh, folks. Eddie! Eddie, you forgot your mail! Master, put me down! Yes, sir. <laughs> now, you know you have to have your milk. Go ahead, drink it down like a good boy. That's it, good boy. Would you like me to slip off your shoesies? No. But I would like your assurance that the music will be confined either to semi-classical or classical. I detest these new sounds like the Black Bottom and the Lambeth Walk. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce my son, the genius, <laughs> Master Edward Wolfgang Munster, who will now play a selection from the ever-popular Carnival in Venice. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yes, sir? I have just two words for you. Uh, I'm insulted? No, you're fired. <laughs> Oh, but, dear. Oh. Edward. Edward, why did you play that, that, that jazz instead of the ever-popular Carnival in Venice? Beats me, Daddy-o. That man, something just came over me like. 